Today is probably the most excited I've been to record a video in a while. Today we are going to be playing Just Crow Things. You may be wondering why I'm so excited and it's because the developers reached out and sent me a code to be able to play the game early. The embargo doesn't lift until the 13th so I'm recording this like days in advance so I have time to like edit it and make it all fancy. If you guys want to play this game for yourself a demo will be available on April 17th. I'll leave a link in the description to the Steam page. For those of you that don't know who Unbound Creations is they are the developers that made the game rain on your parade. The description of the game reads, You're a lonely crow who had her shiny family heirloom stolen. Travel the world to make new friends to reclaim what's yours in the sandboxy adventure game. Create adorable chaos to just cause. Get it? But anyway, here we are in the game. Oh my gosh, I love this main menu. <laughs> like, you know, you don't, it's not like a typical thing where you just scroll through. Now you get to play as the bird and then you land on it. So we got the start, settings, credits. I don't know, man. I don't think I want to play the game. I just want to watch the credits. Oh my gosh, this is actually, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that even the credits to be this creative. That's what I'm saying. Like, this developer is amazing. They put so much attention to detail, so much love into their games. Let's see, we got a map button, a pause button, a poop button, a grab button, and a flat button. Okay, so just grow things by Unbound Creations. Oh man, look at this. I'll go ahead and go through through here so you guys can see some of the names of the amazing people that worked on this game. Got the testers and the party asset creators and yeah, I'll just keep scrolling through just then you guys can kind of see all that, but man, that is awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and actually dive into the game now. We come up here, flop onto the start button. There we go. Alright, so it says move with the left stick and then fly, hold RT, don't tap it. What happens if I just tap it? Does it, I mean... Oh, yeah. I mean, you could still kind of fly, but yeah, you'd be much better off just holding it. Look at me, man. We just got in the game. I'm already flying around. Oh, look at this cute little waddle. And the crow walked up to the lemonade stand. All right, so the back button toggles the map and then pause. Oh, oh, well, wait, we got some dialogue. Hello, little crow. I see you got the grips on flying already. Yes, I did. Are you ready to take on the world? Haha. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I'm giving this poor old lady crow thing, like, the most manly voice. The voice should warn me, like, are you ready to take on the world? Oh, wait, no. What, what is that? Are you ready? Uh, I, I can't come up with a proper voice for this thing. Are you ready to take on the world? Ha ha. I I'm trying here. Before you start, I have something very special to give you. Okay, what are you, you going to give me? Whoa, I'm glow. Oh, look at that. I got a sick pair of shades. These glasses have been worn by me when I was your age. And my grandma before. And my grandma's grandma before. Oh, gosh, man. How long have these things been around? They're a reminder of what slick birds we are. Our sacred family heirloom. Treasure it well. All right, so I got I got to take care of these sunglasses. I guess that's the, uh, the shiny heirloom they were talking about. Now, go on. There is still much to learn. Talk with the various animals in the village. They will teach you all the crowy things. If you're ever lost... Just look at your quest log and map to find them. Go on and have fun. Well, I'm already having fun. This game has a poop button. Let's see, can I poop on this old lady? Just wow! Oh my gosh, I actually can. So she gives me these sunglasses and to repay her. I just take a doo-doo on her head. Oh wait, is there like a... Oh, I think there's like a poop meter. I think... Oh, okay, so that's what the uh, little squirt icons were up at the top left. How do I rebuild my poop meter? Our quest says to meet the forest friends. Meet the squirrel, meet the rabbit, meet the toucan, meet the hedgehog. Oh, I'm gonna name him Sonic. And then meet the peacock. So, okay, so if you hold down... Our RT and then L2. Oh, okay. So it gives you like a speed boost ability. I'm, oh wait, I'm trying to figure out how that works. So as you're flying in the air and then you hold or press LT, you're, oh, okay. So I guess that gives you like a, uh, I, huh? Can I talk to you? Or are you going to tell me how this works? Or maybe do I got to step? Okay. Now you're going to tell me, uh, what is his voice? Let's see. He's a skater. I'll give him like a dude voice since he's a skater. Hola, crow. Tired of flying slowly? There is an advanced form of flight called the swoop. Every time you swoop, you gain a bit of speed. Hold down flat button and then press down swoop for a second or two, then release swoop. You do not need to release flat button while swooping. Repeat this pattern to cover great distances quickly. Here, practice by flying these rings behind us using swoop. Okay, so, I, I, okay, I'm trying to figure this out. So I press it and then I just press, uh, I, I, I'm really trying to figure this out. Okay, so I press it and then I just hold it for a second and then, okay, so don't, so don't hold it for too long, but I can like, oh, okay, so I, 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 it's kind of making sense. You gotta like have a, a bit of a balance to it. Radical. Practice this pattern and you'll move through the world much quicker. You could try restarting to try again. It's tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. Okay, so it's meant to be somewhat tricky. Yeah, see, it took me a couple of attempts, but I was definitely getting the hang of it there towards the end already. All right, now I'm a little crow. I <laughs> mean, I love the little shades, man. I, I almost look like a shady little detective or something. Like, all right, I'm just watching around. Make sure no danger's going on. All right, well, we'll go ahead, come over here, talk to this one. Swoop to fly faster and run into who mans. Okay, so this looks like a little porcupine of some kind. I, I, imagine, I imagine it would have like, I don't know, like a fragile little voice, like... So swoop can be used to move faster. It is very versatile. However, you can also use it to ram into things. It can be tricky to use it, but practice makes perfect. Go on. 
Try now. Try swooping into these three dummies. I don't know why. I just figured the porcupine would be like kind of paranoid. Uh, I feel like that would be pretty fitting because, you know, porcupines are all spiky, but they're the ones that are scared. All right, so I gotta swoop into these like scarecrow dummies. Oh, okay. So there's one. Just, yeah, just swoop into the next one. Swoop into the booty. And then boom, there we go. Swoop into his face. I think I did it. Beautiful. Before we go, I will let you know on another secret. If you swoop into an object or someone carrying an object, you will pick it up automatically. Swoop can be very versatile. Oh, and don't forget, you can't just swoop to either auto target or not in the settings. I'll do it manually. What are settings? <laughs> Beats me. Hey, look at that. I got 25. Uh, I guess those are like little crow coins or crow points. All right, where, where do I go now? All right, so it seems like this next tutorial is going to teach me about grabbing and dropping things. So do I, do I, should I do it before I go into there? Is that, oh, look at that. I grabbed, oh, oh, dude, that crow has a strong beak. He picked up an entire log just by the beak. I can't even pick up my phone case by my nose. Like, it's like, oh, wait, oh, maybe I can. By comparison, this weighs about an eighth of a pound, though. That log must be like, I, I, I mean, that's a lot of pounds. I mean, at least relatively speaking for the poor crow's it uh, looks like we got a squirrel up here. I'm gonna name this one Sandy. All right, uh, how, how would this voice sound? Should we should we go for like that Texas voice? You know, just honor Sandy. What a nice beak you got there. Did you know you can grab things with it? Oh yes, that is your main method of causing chaos and so versatile. Go on, help me out by bringing these scattered wood logs back here. All right, so I gotta bring you this wood. I, I already tried. I was like through the other one. Okay, so there you go. I'll probably grab bring you that one, and then come over here, grab that one, and then come over here, and I grab that one. Uh, it doesn't seem like my poop meter has filled back up yet, so I wonder if that's a mechanic they'll teach me soon. Nicely done. Now, remember, not all objects can be picked up. Some will be too heavy. You'll get a hang of it, though. Go speak to the wabbit. He'll, te he'll tell you all about tools you can pick up. Hey, I got more crow, uh, crow points. The more I play as this crow, the more I'm losing my ability as a human to speak English. All right, now we got to talk to the bunny rabbit. All right, whoa, this one's like bouncing around. He's all jittery. He's ready to go. How's this one's voice going to sound? Bunnies are very like, you know, like very, I, I want to say like introverted. So we'll just say, hey, you look like one smart bird, eh? Bet you're smart enough to use tools, aren't you? Some objects you pick up have a special use. Go on, grab this leaf blower and use it to blow leaves away. So I pick it up with X, I think. Or wait, maybe I gotta grab it. Oh, in case you grab it and then, whoa, look at, oh my gosh, it's like that episode of SpongeBob. You really are a smart bird, huh? Keep an eye for tools around the world. They might not all be useful, but sure are fun. So how do I, so can I use this on like bushes or anything like that? Okay, no, I, okay, I gotta find things that I can use this on. I wonder if I can like use it on humans. I'm like 10 minutes into the game and I'm already just thinking about causing chaos. Whoa, we got a tall one right here. Wait, I, oh my gosh, you can actually spray them with, no, I'm making them cry. You know, part of me kind of feels bad, but also not at all. Eat food to replenish your poops. Yes, we're finally learning about poops. Okay, so I gotta talk to the toucan. Oh man, I'm gonna call you Fruit Loop. Scrap! As a bird, we have a special power. One that no other creature possesses. Can you guess what it is? I'm gonna guess it's the ability to poop. We can poop down on unsuspecting humans. <laughs> humans? Quack! Go on, poop on three chipmunks walking around. Oh, and if you run out of poops, don't forget to eat some fruit. All right, so I just, okay, so I grab it and the, oh, okay, so I see, just as soon as you grab it, then you automatically like uh, pick it up. Okay, so then I can like fly in the air and I, squirrel, oh my gosh, I just, I straight up dropped a doo doo. <laughs> you can just drop it right on their head. I'm in my mid 20s, yet this is like, <laughs> This <laughs> is just so entertaining to me. Quack! Excellent! This is the kind of chaos I want to see in the world. I'll let you on to another secret. Some foods are special. Squawk. <laughs> they will give you extra power when you poop. Here, try this can of beans and see what it does. I won't lie. It's been a while since the game has just made me straight up laugh. Like, oh my gosh, dude. I, that's like five meters at the top. Hold on. How much more powerful are these things going to get? Wait, so when I press the... Oh my gosh, these are so powerful that they literally launch me. Oh, okay. So I don't think these are directly poops. I think these are just like straight up boosts that it's giving me or they're really like fatal farts. I love how during all this, like the sunglasses just stay on the crow's face, even though there's obviously none of the, like the things on the side that help it latch onto the ears, it just stays on. Know your items. Notice how different item types glow in different ways. So, oh, okay. So the special food is probably the ones that like, uh, uh, I'm actually not too sure what those ones do. So when I grab it, does it like, oh, whoa, that, I don't know if that was related to what I'm holding right now or if that was something else, but okay. And then I know food, the, that food just gives me like, yeah, the normal poop stuff. But when I come over to the tools, this, okay, yeah, so this is the stuff that I can actually use. All right, so I tried the can of beans. How do I, is there like another way that I'm supposed to eat it? Maybe it's like, oh, okay, so those give me even more poops. And then it seems like we got a clarinet so I can, oh yeah, I can go Squidward mode. And it seems like finally we got like a flashlight. So that might be useful for something. And then we have quest items. Oh, okay, so I don't know if any of these are actually useful at the moment. Maybe this could be used to unlock something if I was, no, not that. Maybe these are just here just for like in a general sense, just to kind of show you stuff. But okay, we'll go ahead and fly over here. Oh, and the game has a photo mode. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, this one seems like a calm, elegant person. Look what a beautiful bird you are. 
Your beauty and grace must be captured in photos. Go on, try it. Take a cool photo now. Don't forget to document your journey. Okay, so hey, look at that. 25 more crow points all the way up to 125. So I can just go ahead and click that and then... Oh, wow, that's so cool. Look at that. Okay, so I can like focus in on certain things. Wow, this is... I, I honestly wasn't expecting this game to have a photo mode, but that's awesome. Especially in a game like this where you cause so much chaos, I feel like that only makes sense. So we'll go ahead and try to focus up, get a picture of the crow right from the front. Like, yeah, I'm the dopest birdie in the town. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, just screenshot that just for purposes. Honestly, might make that my wallpaper. There we go. I got even more, 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 more crow points. <laughs> why, why is that actually a tongue twister for me? More crow points. Let me come over here. You can customize your crow. Wow. Okay, so there's like a lot of whoa okay so i got like a shark hat umbrella hat man this is so cool a viking hat oh yeah i got buddy ears a firefighter hat witch hat oh man what do i want to go with i think i'll go with the firefighter hat i got like the cop looking aviators a firefighter helmet actually i don't know that shark is kind of cool too we'll go firefighter just because red is like my favorite color i mean that's pretty cool and then oh okay so i can like change this oh okay so you can actually like change your skin so we got Puppet, just a little yarny. Oh, okay, yeah, it doesn't change it. You can see it. There's, like, the yarny aesthetic to it. That always that makes me think of, like, Yoshi's Wooly World, if you guys have played that game before. Then we got the Default Crow. Then we got the Chicken, which is funny. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go Puppet, just because I think that looks so cool. Then we got the Scarf Color. I think Yellow really does go fine with that. I mean, yeah, or, or, oh, no, that was Orange. Sorry, I guess I'm colorblind. We got Orange, which I think goes fine. Yellow, that's a little bright. Um, I'm not too sure. Again, Red is my favorite color, so, I mean, like, we could go with that. That does look... I mean, that, that still looks good. Yeah, I feel like with the orange. That's probably just like, I don't know, maybe like a little bit too much orange. So yeah, we'll switch it up. We'll go, we'll, we'll, I think we'll go red with it. As for the croak pitch, uh, I mean... <laughs> I'll leave it at the default. And then we run over here to the exit. So I just flap my wings and then land to end the level. So we just go up there and then did I do it? Okay, there we go. That's the end of the tutorial. Let's see, I got 150 crow points. I unlocked new hats. I unlocked the shroom one. I'm gonna dress him up, make him look like Toad from Mario. Whoa, we got a cutscene. Okay. So, oh, stop. Oh, what's this? Who are these guys? <laughs> Well, well, well. I love his shades. They're just, <laughs> it almost makes me think of like that one Minecraft, like the Minecraft shades or like the one meme or whatever. But anyway, I'm keep going. If it isn't the new crow in town, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh. Who do they think they are? Ooh, looks like you got yourself sunglasses, eh? Kaka! Give me those. They just snagged them from me. What? You ain't cool enough for sunglasses. Yeah, not cool enough. So uncool. You gotta earn your right to wear those. You dig? Go, travel the world and prove yourself to other animals. Maybe then we will let you have your cool glasses back. Maybe. Kaka. 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 Look at my poor crow right there. He's just looking like so. He's just like, what even just happened? All right, now we're here with the old granny again. Well, well, let me explain how this goes. Kaka. There are animals all over this land who need your help. You can find them easily by checking your map. Go talk to them, learn what they need, help them, and earn crow putation. <laughs> Once you hit 100 crow putation, you can move on to the next area. Each area lets you earn up to 150 crow putation, though. So, you don't need to help all the animals, just enough. Open the pause menu to check your progress, your tasks, and your current crow putation. Aw, oh, man, look at my little dude. He's been robbed of his sunglasses. Well, now I need to meet Trinket Crow, meet Squirrel Mama, meet Pony, <laughs> Pony Hawk, and the Peacock. Where's your swag? What? You don't have swag? What kind of a crow? You must fix this if you ever want to be cool like us. Fly around and find some shiny gold trinkets and bring them here. Show us you got some style. Oh, and while you fly around, poop some cars along the way. Humans love it when you decorate their cars. Swag and poopy cars. Did you get all that? Kill All right, so it seems like one of my first objectives at the very least is to poop on some cars. So we light up the shadows and then boom. Oh my gosh, it actually makes the cars like explode. There's some unsuspecting humans walking around that I kind of want to take a doo-doo on, but I, I won't do it just yet. Let me just say that I love the art style of this game. I, I don't even know how to describe. Oh, ow, he smacked me with the bird. You know, I'm going to... Uh, uh, I would do do on you if my poop wasn't limited, but I don't know when I'm gonna get food again. I need to save this for the cars, you old bag. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a doo-doo on his bus. There we go, that counts as a car. Whoa, look at this. There's another one of these animals up here. Okay, and, oh, I just realized there's like other objectives you need to go for. Three coins, uh, a chalice, a bowl, a key. Okay, so we'll do some of those. But now we're gonna talk to this, and I don't even know what animal this is. 
Uh, he looks pretty bouncy. I guess he's on some sort of energy drink, so we'll make him kind of like, uh, I don't know, like, Hey, Crowy, how's it going? Me and the boys were talking. These humans getting mad wild in our term. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Guess it's time to remind him who runs this place. Grab one of the spray cans and tag a bunch of red mailboxes, just like the one right here. It's all about personal branding, you dig? Oh, okay, so these aren't like, like energy drinks. These were like cans. Okay, so I go ahead, pick one of these up. Okay, grab it, and then I just gotta... Spray like, oh wow, that's cool. You could actually like graffiti stuff. Yeah, I'm the big bad bird. I'm the one that runs this joint. So now I just gotta walk around and spray. I don't know how many sprays I have per can, so I'll just kind of get as much as I can out of each. There's the third one, spray just like that. Oh, it looks like there's like a fire extinguisher or something on there. I'm sure I could spray that at people. Don't worry, I, I want to cause more chaos then, but I also want to follow the objectives a bit. I, I want to see where all this is going. Whoa, look at this. It's like this glowy thing right here. Okay, uh, I'll grab that. I'll come back for that in a minute because I'm pretty sure that's one of my objectives. There's also like a chili pepper on top of the vending, but I can't wait uh, uh you know what i bet i know what the chili pepper does go ahead and spray the last mailbox and then there we go now i need to talk to the lemur is that a type of animal i failed science if that's even the class that you learn about animals in all right so i talk to you again and then crowy crowy my bird you have done us a solid now these pesky humans won't forget we own this place good work eh? all right now i want to go back over here because there was like uh one of them shiny things where i was saying before where it's like that's uh that that, that indicates that it's one of my quest objectives first off let me go ahead I, I'm, I'm just gonna drop the can for a minute what happens if i pick up this show oh okay yeah see i see oh wow i can literally just drop flaming dude it sets the humans on fire it seems like they drop some coins as well oh okay so when you oh okay so i see how this works you you know you you assault the humans they'll drop stuff that you need and then you can take it all the way back up here and then i'm pretty sure i can does that yeah there we go just drop it on top of there and that counts as one of the coins that i need now we'll come over here and i'm pretty sure this is probably what the chalice that i need so we'll come over here drop it right there there we go there's the chalice you know we just need the bowl and the key as well as two more coins which i think i know how to get the coins come here excuse me i'm just gonna no, no, you know what the one that's been hitting me with the broom i'm gonna keep getting you with it yeah that's right you you better run away you hit me with a broom you get the fiery Doo -doo. There we go. We got another coin in this yard. Actually, no, this is the bowl that we needed. The sad thing is that this isn't like a typical cereal bowl. This looks like it belonged to like a cat or a dog or something. So when it's time for them to get the water, I'm, they're out of luck. Drop the bowl down right there. And now we just need to get the key and two more coins. And we also need to keep dropping doo-doo on cards. Let's see. Can I maybe drop it down here on the scooter over here? Just fly overhead drop get the shadow lined up there we go does that count no that doesn't count okay i figured it wouldn't because that's not really a car how about this yellow one over here drop it right on the yeah there we go <laughs> <laughs> a poor car it's literally on fire all right we got some more coins over here we still need two of them so this is one of them and then it seems like there's another one over there i think you can only carry one thing at a time so we'll take this back and then we'll fly back out and get the other coin go ahead and drop off that coin look at us we're making good progress already drop down over here and pick up that coin there we go look at me go drop off the last and final coin and there we go now we just need to keep pooping on cars so we'll drop a doo doo on one more car and then we'll see if we can find the oh wait there's something flashing over here i don't know uh maybe is this a quest of objective of some kind it's hard to say but wait there's another animal over here uh it seems like this car belongs to the animal so i don't want to do to on this one oh man oh oh whoa there's like a target time okay all right something's telling me we're about to engage in a race i think you are ready for races see this ring next to me it will activate the special race mode just land on it and squawk to activate then fly through all the checkpoints that appear fast as you can find all the races of the world and complete them for much much fun Every race you complete will increase your reputation. If you're struggling or want extra challenge, you can always change race difficulty. Just pause the game and go to settings anytime. All right, let's see if I can actually pull off the race. So I click start. Okay, hold up. All right, so three, two, one, and now we're just gonna go for it. I don't know if there's like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna fly and then I'm gonna squaw. I'm gonna fly and then I'm or not squaw, swoop. I don't know if I'm doing this as efficiently as I could, but I'm trying. So we just keep flying, keep, keep uh, swooping. I don't know how I'm doing. I'm doing the whole flying swoop technique and. And did I do? Oh, well, I got it in 23 seconds, even though my target time was 35 seconds. I'm pretty proud of that. It seems like we got a bat over here, but I'm pretty sure that that's tied to a different quest because it, it was growing uh, glowing gold, which means that it is a quest objective of some kind. So we'll get there then. Uh, this person seems like they're holding the key. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop a fiery doo-doo on their head. They dropped the key and now it is mine. I'm also going to go ahead and just drop a doo-doo on this car so we can finish that off. We have, uh, 25 croputation now. Now I'll come up here and drop off the key and just like that, that is that objective done. Look at that. We got a ton of croputation. We're all the way up at 45. So now we just need to meet Squirrel Mama and meet Peacock. All right, let's see where all the other, uh, people are out in the world. All right, it seems like we got, uh, probably the P dime. I'm not actually sure what this is. Okay, squee! There is a big fat cat down below and he wants to eat us. Help, Crowy. Help. 
I bet the fat cat will love some fish as well. Drop some fish near him and he'll be sure to follow. There should be a leaky pipe on one of the buildings near us. Leave the cat to get splashed and he'll be sure to scram. Save us. Squeak. Use fish to lure cat under a leaky pipe. Okay, so there's some fish right here. So I just got to grab one of those and then... Uh, wait, wait, where's the leaky pipe at? All right, kitty, follow me. I'm not exactly sure where we're going, but wait, if I just kind of like drop... Okay, so yeah, the cat does follow. So where is the leaky pipe? Ah, okay, I see the leaky pipe right over here on the side of the building. Okay, so if I just go ahead, drop it down right there is the cat. Okay, yeah, it seems like the cat's coming over here. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. You know you want the fishy, fishy, fishy. I don't know if I did it correct. Oh, no, I didn't have it close enough. Okay, so uh, at least the cat is over there now, but I think I need to put it like directly into the stream of water. All right, so I bring it back over here and then just like right here in the stream just drop it just like that yeah okay did i do no i i didn't do it okay so i don't think it's the fish that i need to put under the water i i think i need to put it in a way so that the cat just walks through the water i'm pretty sure that's all that it needs so i'll drop it right there and then yeah there it is okay so now we gotta go back up and talk to the mice those were mice here i was thinking they were like tiny birds oh okay now i can see like their tails and stuff squee you lured the ugly cat away thank you crowy Thank you. Now we are all the way up to 60 Croputation. I want to find out where the other animals are now, because it still says that we need to meet Squirrel Mama as well as Pika. Aha, we found another animal up here. I don't think this is either ones we're looking for, but this one seems to be the porcupine from before. Help! <laughs> These humans have taken over my home, my beautiful park. It appears they are having some kind of devilish ritual. <laughs> like it's a birthday party please please do what is in your power to ruin it birthday ruiner i just need to uh, pop the balloon oh, okay so i just fly straight into the balloons and i need to destroy the radio and poop on humans this old man's coming for me with the broom again but it ain't gonna work this time boy you want to know why because i got the flaming doo-doo unfortunately though i am all out of flaming doo-doo now however i just ate some watermelon which means that my doo-doo abilities are back to normal so now i can walk around let's see can i can i doo-doo on a child oh, <laughs> oh my gosh i can doo-doo on a child for the adult humans it just covers their head for the child the poop literally consumes them now i can destroy the radio caca and, and, and that's oh wow i literally set the place on fire i mean i was just trying to ruin the party i wasn't trying to burn the whole park down oh you wonderful fiend you've done it thank you so much i shall definitely put in a good word with the cool crows about how cool you are all the way up to 85 croputation there we go i think this is one of the ones i was looking for the peacock again i'm terrible at identifying my animals so uh, i don't actually know crowy crowy darling look at my sweet sweet crib well, where you might see a pile of sticks, I see an opportunity. Help me riz up this beautiful nest and I'll snag some cool pigs for flip flap. <laughs> we'll get millions of likes. Millions! Put twigs or branches on the nest. Okay, does this count? Can I drop the- Okay, so that's a one, that's a two, and then this is a three. Let's see, do we got some- Yeah, we do. We got some more branches over here, so I'll come down here and pick up a four, plop down the five, and now I can plop down the six. Oh, it's really coming together. Now we just need decorations any decorations just put cool stuff on it crow put any decorative items on the nest you say hmm so first up i'm thinking an exploded car tire and a traffic cone and then a plant pot oh wait did i do it oh my pigeons this is so aesthetic hold up let me get all the right angles and filters Thank you, Crow. I'll make sure to tag you. Birdernet stardom, here we come. 20 Croputation, all the way up. Oh, wait, look at that. I'm all the way up at 100 Croputation. Exit level to continue adventure. Kaka, you've beaten this area. You can go to exit right next to me and proceed to the next level. Or stay here and complete challenges for extra rewards. The choice is yours. Kaka. Well, before that, I do want to come over here and meet the Skroma. I forgot that we had a map. That was entirely my fault. I could have looked at the map the whole time, but I literally forgot that we had one. But anyway, I want to come over here and talk to the Squirrel Mama since this is the last one that it told me to meet. And then after that, then we'll go to the next area. So, my babies, my babies, they're gone, disappeared, removed, unexisted. Well, they probably just ran away like the little rascals they are. They couldn't have gone far. They must be somewhere around. Will you bring them back to me? All four of them? I am a mother. I need my babies, please. All right, we got 10 more Croputation just for talking to her. And now we need to find the Squirrel Kid. So if I open up... Okay, no, the map is... I was gonna say, like, if I open up the map and it just tells me no. Okay, so I actually do need to use my crow brain and look for... Oh, wait, here we go. I think this is one... Oh, you know what? As we've been flying around, I have been seeing these things. So I'm pretty sure we just gotta grab them. And hopefully this is a squirrel. Please tell me this is one of the babies you were looking for. And this isn't like a baby cat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the squirrel kids. I do remember. Yeah, here we go. Here's another one of the squirrel kids. I I've been 
been seeing them as we've been flying around. I wasn't sure if they were, because, like, I was seeing them at first. I was like, oh, or maybe one of those, the squirrel mamas. But no, these were the squirrel kids. Here is your second squirrel, baby. Now, where could the third squirrel baby be? I spy with my little crow eye another, yeah, another squirrel baby that I am gonna grab and fly back to her mama. I, I can't rhyme. Here you go. Here's your third squirrel, baby. Now we just need to find one more squirrel, baby. Oh, wait. I see it on this roof over here. All right, squirrel, baby. It's time to go back to your mama. Hopefully after this, I'll be cool enough to get my shades back. You know what? Just to prove how cool I am, I will deliver the final squirrel while wearing my shades. Oh, yeah. This really heightens the uh, cool experience. I can really feel the swag coming through. So we go ahead and drop off the fourth one. My babies are all home. Thank you, bird crow. The squirrel kind is forever indebted to you. Okay. Bye. And just like that, I'm all the way up at 135 croputation. Well, that's all my objectives. That's everything that I had to do. Look at that. We 100% of the, uh, the quest list. Well, with this area completed, I think I will go ahead and land on this to end the level. And let's see. Okay, the end of quaint town look at that oh it seems like i was missing 15 creepy tea I, I guess there was probably like some other va oh okay that's what it was there was three other races that i didn't get to do whoops a daisy if i would have known I, I forgot because i forgot like the races do give you computation but i forgot i got like i looked at the map and i saw the other races but my brain just you know it's one of those things where i wasn't putting two and two together that kind of bugs me i wanted to 100 it but it is what it is i'll wait till the full game comes out then i'll 100 it then thank you for playing the demo if you liked it please wishlist the full game on steam it helps us a lot when you do i'll definitely be doing that we hope you're looking forward to the full release cheers jacob Kaz uh, Tosky on behalf of the unbound creations team as i had stated before i will leave a link in the description uh for the steam page you can go over there wishlist the game and download the demo when it is available on april 17th thank you so 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 much to unbound creations for sending me a code early so i could make a video on this game play it and just you know share it with you guys this is the first time that i've you know received something like this and it truly is such a huge honor and especially because i'm just i'm such a huge fan of that team in general like i was saying before like when rain on your parade first came out i remember playing that game a ton i had a lot of fun with it and um again just a huge honor thank you so 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 much sending much love to the team i can't wait to play this game when it fully releases and i can't wait to see what you guys do just beyond that in the future but anyway as always a massive shout out thank you to all the patrons and channel members thank you to all you in the low volunteer and your beer shout out thank you to all you in the mid volunteer my last game be daddy many of the biggest shout out to all in the gc run events and the cheese girl thank you guys so much you guys are literal legends i love you thank you guys for watching have an amazing day stay beautiful i love you all and remember just like our little crow friend here be cool and be swaggy. Peace.